Hello, it's Dr. Kevin Kirby. I want to discuss today a clinical test I invented approximately 20 years ago I called the forefoot plantar flexion test. Uh, and the foot skeleton, you remember the mid-tarsal joint is between the talus and calcaneus and the navicular and cuboid, but we have a whole set of midfoot joints here, the medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform, and the cuboid, and then we have Lisfranc's joint cross here at the basis of the metatarsal cuneiform joints and also the fourth and fifth metatarsal cuboid joints. This forefoot plantar flexion test is to try to diagnose and follow patients who have dorsal midfoot pain. There's a condition called dorsal midfoot aneurysis compression syndrome where these dorsal joint surfaces can be uh, irritated by increased compression forces along the dorsal joint surfaces, which then causes pain with plantar flexion. So this forefoot plantar flexion test I'm going to be de demonstrating here on a subject is going to be involving grabbing the rear foot and then plantar flexing the forefoot on the rear foot. And you can see how plantar flexing the forefoot on the rear foot opens up those joint surfaces also stretching the dorsal ligaments and causing pain in patients that have this dorsal midfoot interosseous compression syndrome. So uh, we're going to look at a subject foot here. Again, my lovely wife has volunteered her foot for this. First thing to do is to take one hand, grasp the heel firmly posteriorly and pull. And what this does is stabilizes the foot on the leg and then you're going to take your thumb on top of the metatarsal shaft and then plantar flex the forefoot on the rear foot without the rear foot moving. You already see I'm doing for the first and second metatarsals, the middle metatarsals, then now I'm going to do it for the lateral metatarsal, uh, this lateral metatarsals including the fourth and fifth metatarsal cuboid joints. And here's more for the first, second, and third metatarsal cuneiform joints. And so you see what we would have is pain with this forefoot plantar flexion test. And you can also see I'm bracing here on the bottom with my index finger and the arch, and then wedging it like this so that I'm trying to open up those dorsal joint surfaces of her foot. And that's the forefoot plantar flexion test, very effective for following dorsal midfoot pain uh, caused by dorsal midfoot interosseous compression syndrome. Thank you.